and we're back. Exciting! Okay, um, I was talking about DHCP servers, okay. For a computer to exist on a network in a TCP IP environment, we're not talking about network, we're talking about a traditional Samba server, and to get on the internet, uh, it needs an IP number. And uh, there are two ways you can do that. You can assign one to each desk going into a configuration place, or you can go back to your... Um, or you can let uh, the internet router or some other device that's on the network assign IP numbers to the other devices on the network, which, and that's called a DHCP server. And it seems, at the beginning, it seems like it's a no-brainer, drop-dead issue just to let the DHCP server assign IP numbers, but I've always noticed there's always some problem that arises in the background that... Uh, you know, keep, the, the, keep you banging your head against the wall because everything seems right, but something doesn't work. And in this case, it was the mounting of these two shares right there from the server behind me that runs Samba. So I'm a, I have a Unix server, I'm a Unix client. I'm not using NFS because I'm just too damn Windows oriented, but that, that may be of some comfort to you. <laughs> If you're considering moving over, okay, I, I, I'm not addicted to the command line, and I don't love uh, hassling and screwing around with things, but I will do, I will uh, take steps that I that I think are elegant, that that can be performed easier or better at, at the command line in an, automa in an automated fashion. Now, it doesn't work. You can't just right-click on one of these and say map map the network drive or something like that. You know, there, there is no network neighborhood per se in any of these Linux distributions. It just doesn't work that way. They had, at one point there was a, a program that worked that way, but it, it doesn't, it just didn't work that nicely. It, it, it wouldn't integrate with a mount point. You need to integrate with a mount point in this situation. Okay. Um... Let's see, I'll just illustrate, though, that you can, if you needed to, just browse the network. So over here, you know, Discovery happens to be the name of my computer, but if I browse Windows Network, we happen to be in the Mandrake group back in years ago, and we used Mandrake, and I've kept that group name ever since, because I don't want to go around and change all the names. There's my two shares, there's my Dell. Problem is, is that I'm browsing the network, but I haven't really assigned this to a mount point. This is just uh, almost like looking at it through a browser, and it's I can't really say under what subdirectory these things are, and, and everything in, in Unix is going to want to know where to find things before you do it. It, it does place it on, on the desktop rather nicely, but I've got it to, to show up automatically, which I will get to um, in more detail than I have now. You're not going to find a... CIF, et cetera, init D, CIFS, mount, unmount, command, and I made that, okay? Okay, let's get to this. Um, okay, so now we know that um, my network share, basically where all the data for our clients and everything, really is at the home, Jack, Morton Associate, and Dell uh, subdirectory. So I go over here, crossover, and um, in this case, I'm going to manage a bottle. It doesn't make any sense to you, but that's okay, <laughs> at least for now. And uh, let's take my um, Lotus Organizer up there. That was a, one of the one things I, I, I showed would work. And you, you select that bottle if you have more than one, but you're going to want to do this for all your bottles anyway. You click on Control Panel, and there's something called Wine Configuration. You click on that, you launch the selected item, and up comes nothing. No, just kidding. Up should come eventually one of these days over the rainbow. Did I click hard enough? Come on. What's going on? Unfrickin' believable. I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to reset all the activity. There may have been an app that didn't stop. Just come back. Come on. Manage the bottles. Okay, they're initializing. Maybe that has something to do with it. 
It says the bottle is ready. Okay, the bottle is ready. Captain Kirk. And we'll click on that. Now, if this doesn't come up, I'll show you what it looks like from the command line. Little things like this happen sometimes, and I don't know what the explanation is. So, here it is. I'll just do... Yeah, wine config. I was hitting the up arrow to, to see the commands I'd done recently. Wine CFG. And what should... Yeah, here it is. And now, what, this is supposed to come up when I click on that and I launch the selected item. But it's not right now. I don't know why, but it's kind of annoying. Then you click on the Drives tab, and then you can see I've made the D drive for purposes of every application installed in the LaCert bottle. The D drive really is the home jack directory. E is CD-ROM. Now, why did that change on me? I had one of them as the label of my um, thumb drive that was in there. And then here is... Uh, the location of the share, and I've assigned it to a Y drive. So that's that's why, in theory, if I go into the cert and I say that the data directory is in Y, um, that I'll be able to find uh, the client files that are there. Hmm. If it lets me browse. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, do I have any data in here at all? Hmm. Bad. So it shuts down, but it's not—it's not behaving exactly the way I expected. I would have expected it to um, to show at least one client. I think we might have one that's in the fiduciary, but I. You know, I'm also kind of wondering whether, you know, if it's going to, God, it's just going to pop up the Fed ID number. I mean, who wants that? I don't want to show that. Um, why? Because, you know, our clients, <laughs> our clients happen to have some confidentiality. Um... It's getting annoying. Settings, master options, okay, setup. Take me to the Y directory and show me. I'm not just talking crap. Okay, I have to shut it down. I don't know why it wants to shut down every time. There we go. Okay, close that. There are our clients. You saw it. Done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to stay there too long. Uh, okay, so basically after I, I've signed the Y drive, and then I've gone in and um, I've signed that Y drive to the, to the network mount point, and as a result of signing the Y drive to the network mount point, I can get to my client files that way. Stop here.